Hello everyone! So it's obviously been a really long time since I made a YouTube video. Um, but I am back. Um, I have a whole new life now. Just hang on. Um, I'm going to explain all of that in this video. This is going to be like sort of a get ready with me, catch up with me, and just sort of like a welcome back video, I guess. Um, so this is just my little intro. You know, they're always pretty awkward. So I don't really know what to say. It feels weird to be vlogging because I've never been a great vlogger. I just sort of enjoy doing it and I like saving memories from my life. So I am back on and I'm going to show you guys what is up. So um, I got off of work at about 1230 today. Um, it is 410 now. So it's been a little bit. I took a little nap. I did my makeup, which you guys will see. Got a little bit ready. I mean, I'm still wearing super casual clothes, but I got ready and I'm going to go walking downtown and sort of show you guys what's around me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is a super bad angle, double chin central, but I'm just going to put my jacket on and my hat. I bet you guys are wondering what, where am I? So I am in my barracks room because um, I am in the, well, actually, you know what? I just almost started explaining everything, but I think I'm going to go walk around and then I'm going to come back home and just do a little chat time while I maybe make some food if I don't get food while I'm out. Um, I have some hats from my Etsy shop that I made, but I also have a cute Patriots hat that would look pretty spicy. Pink, it's like really weird, but it's very me. It's very Lydia, so. You think, I think I'm just gonna go with my little Patriots hat for today, just cause. So let me just put this little bad boy on. Boom. Boom. And also, I don't usually ever do my makeup this much. Like with the foundation and all that. And with this heavy eyeshadow. But it's my first day back on YouTube. Your girl gotta celebrate. I gotta look good for you guys, okay?
everyone I'm back I've only been walking for about five minutes but I don't know if you can see but my eyes are watering because I'm walking on the wharf which is by the water and it's so windy and cold and my I can't feel my hands um but it's so beautiful and worth it um it's just so pretty here there's like the sailboat I haven't walked here since this summer which was like six months ago it's been a long time but it is so pretty even in winter time there's a lot less people which is good though but like I love living here so because I'm stationed in Boston in the north end so I just feel very lucky to live here in this area it's so beautiful like I could have gotten stationed somewhere really sucky that wasn't in a city which I wanted or that was like just boring and had nothing to do around it but I am hashtag blessed I got stationed here in this amazing place and there's so much more to see that I'm gonna show you not all today but I'm gonna go to a few places that I always go to show you guys I'll be right back Right now we are in the famous Quincy Market. It is a very famous part of the north end of Boston. It has shops, food. I just showed you the big um, Fenuel Hall which has all the food in it. And I'm about to go to Starbucks to warm up my handsies. Okay, right now I'm about to go through the Holocaust Memorial. It is so beautiful and I'm about to walk through it and show you guys. Okay guys, I am back home. It's been probably like an hour and a half. Um, I spilled coffee on my jacket. I don't know if you can see, but I'm pretty sad about it. Hey guys, so I am all cozy in my bed, ready to talk to you guys, ready to spill the tea, even though there isn't really any tea. It's basically just a life update because it's been probably almost a year since I last talked to you. Um, so I got my little popcorn. The battery light on my camera is flashing, so let's see how this works. So the first thing that I obviously sort of told you earlier was that I joined the Coast Guard. Some of my previous vlogs mentioned it, but I never really vlogged the process of going to boot camp. I mean, obviously you can't vlog in boot camp, but I didn't really vlog before or any time after at all so like I completely forgot about YouTube just because it was a huge transition a huge transition in my life and you know I wasn't really thinking about pulling out a camera to vlog I was in a whole new place with whole new people so like vlogging was not my main concern um, but I am at a point where I got my life together um, I have some free time. I'm going to be going on deployment in a few weeks, 
but until then I'm gonna vlog and I'm gonna sort of share my life with you I can't really do too much at work I'm gonna show you like what I do in the city and just my life in general updates because I mainly vlog not only to put it on YouTube and for people to watch but for my own memories like I just like having these memories and I like little videos put together that show my life that I can look back on and like all that kind of stuff so it would be nice to have a larger following on YouTube but that's not the only reason I'm doing it so just to share my intentions with you guys um so yes I'm in the Coast Guard I have been in for almost 10 months on the 20 23rd well I graduated boot camp March 17th on St. Patrick's Day and I reported to this unit Boston March 23rd so on January 23rd it'll be 10 months that I have been at the unit um, which is a 270 foot cutter big boat pretty much just you can definitely look it up find out more about it so far I am really loving it I have met some amazing people learned awesome things it is definitely matured me it has definitely taught me a lot a lot a lot not only about the job that I'm doing but just about myself and about other people and just how to work in an environment where you like live with a hundred other people at three months at a time on a 270 foot box it's very like it can be stressful at times it can be annoying but there are a lot of upsides to it as well. So if you guys know me and you're watching this, then you know that I met my boyfriend through the Coast Guard as well. So that's another big thing in my life that I haven't updated you guys on yet. But if you're new and you don't really know me and you're watching this, well, hello, first of all. Yes, I did meet my boyfriend through the Coast Guard and he is basically my best friend not even basically he is my best friend and he was always just someone that I would rely on before we even made anything official I would always rely on him and he was just someone that I would work out with I would talk to about all my problems and soon enough we realized like okay we both sort of have feelings for each other you know blah 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 and then we just sort of made it happen um, it's, it's sort of like a longer process than that that I will definitely have to get into in a whole nother video. I will insert a picture of us, or maybe a few. But, yes. He is my best friend, but the only thing that sucks is that he's on a different 270. So, we are long distance. And, and we're currently going through our first long period away from each other, which is four months, and it's only been not even two weeks yet. Tomorrow will be two weeks. So, I am currently in port, and he's currently deployed. We're, two, we're one month offset, so he left in January and I'm leaving in February and then he'll get back a month before me and I'll get back a month after him so overall it's four months apart um, but we're gonna try to see each other during port calls when we pull in places it's really just if everything aligns we'll be able to see each other at port calls at certain port calls but like he might be pulling in somewhere close to Boston next weekend and I might be able to drive up there if I can get my duty days covered so it's just like really hard to get it to work out but we're gonna definitely try so hopefully I'll get to see him in a week or okay so my camera died like I told you my battery was low but I just charged it for like an hour and I watched some Netflix and now I'm back um, also, I forgot to introduce you to my beautiful little unicorn head. It's from the Target Kids section, if you were wondering. It's super cute. It's like my favorite part of my room. So, let's get back into what we were talking about. But the question is, do I remember what we were talking about, honestly? Remember I talked about my mans. Talked about work. Mm-mm-mm. I talked about how we were long distance. Uh, 
honestly, I don't even know if there was anything else that I was going to talk about. I guess I could let you guys know about my whole fitness journey. So, when I first reported to my unit, my now boyfriend, he was just my friend back then, he got me into weightlifting. Like, I always wanted to go to the gym all the time, but I was like sort of intimidated by all the buff guys that were in the weightlifting section. So he helped me. He like sort of showed me what to do and like spotted me, made sure I didn't like break my arm off and everything. So I really learned a lot from him as far as weightlifting goes. And I was weightlifting for probably a good three to four months and I was really seeing results in my body. Um, and that was probably like six months ago, honestly. I was doing really good for three months and then I was doing like all right for a few months. And then the last like three to four months, I was just really bad. Like I would maybe go to the gym like like every once in a while, maybe once a week. But before I was like on it. But I just recently went on leave back home to Georgia to see my family for 10 days. And I literally went to the gym every single day except for like one day. And that was the day that before I left, I was just spending time with my family and everything. But I literally went to the gym and worked my booty off that whole 10 days. And I feel like that was sort of like the kickstart back into my weightlifting and exercising journey. Um, because I really do enjoy it and I have a passion for it and I feel better when I'm working out like hard every day, almost every day. It's just like good to know that you are working on yourself and you're trying to better yourself and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to get back into it. I don't have my boyfriend to spot me and everything. So it's like I can't go as high as I used to and like I lost muscle so I can't go as high as I used to anyway so I'm just trying to slowly build it back up do what I can by myself so there are some girls that I think I'm going to start going to the gym with and maybe taking classes because you know Boston's a huge city and there's always classes that you can go to they cost money and the Coast Guard's not getting paid right now so not maybe not anytime soon but once all that is over with and we actually start getting paid again maybe we can start doing that kind of stuff also I forgot to apologize for the angle I don't actually have my tripod here with me so it's definitely really crooked but you know you gotta make do with what you have that's really all that's happening in my life there's obviously a bunch of little things it was like, ten whole months since I joined and like there's obviously going to be a bunch of stuff that I can't really think of all right now but as I keep making vlogs and keep keep talking to you guys about my life then I will probably end up talking about those things eventually um but yeah that is basically it for today guys so I hope you enjoyed watching I am so glad to be back and I'm gonna try to vlog normally maybe not every day but um you know every once in a while if something exciting is happening i'm gonna vlog it so thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'm gonna be doing other videos too like once i am back with my boyfriend we're gonna be doing a couple of videos he's already agreed to it um he's actually pretty excited and supportive of this youtube thing so I really like that. Um, I'm really grateful about that. And yeah, I'm going to be just doing a bunch of random stuff, not just vlogs. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching for the 700th time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.